Today I'm going to talk about the 2022 Lacey Act. So I'm going to talk briefly about the 2022 uh, Lacey Act, what's going on. Pretty sure a lot of people know what's going on right now. Um, it's going to prohibit us from transferring snakes, reptiles, small animals, um, birds uh, over the state lines. Um, you know, there's more people you could watch that know a little bit more about this than me. Um, but, uh, you know, I thought I would just put my input on it and um, what I think about it. So I was in a car accident at the end of 2020 and that caused me to go into a coma and uh, I was in a coma for about roughly almost three weeks or so. And uh, my brothers had no choice but to give up my reptiles because there was no one in my family that could take care of large uh, snakes that, were, that had a Burmese python that was a little bit over 10 feet long. Um, you know, there's nobody that wants to manage a 10 foot long snake. So, you know, they had to get rid of them and uh, give it to the rep local reptile uh, store that we have over here. And when I woke up out of my coma, you know, I wanted to get back into reptiles. I knew that I still wanted to pursue my passion for keeping these reptiles and keeping snakes. Um, also fish, uh, fish is a part of this list. Um, so if I wasn't able, if I got out of that coma and wasn't able to like, purchase those snakes again, just because this whole Lacey Act passed, if I woke up and somehow a law passed where we couldn't get snakes over state lines or, re or fish over state lines. So what I did to do my part was to uh, send, I sent an email out to the state Senate um, and just was nice about the situation. Just let him, them know what was going on in California. And I'm pretty sure I'm one of thousands probably, I would hope, um, from California reaching out to him. Um, so I did that to do my part, but also I have a paid membership to US Art. Um, so, cause they're the ones fighting for us to keep our snakes and our animals. So yeah, that was what I did to do my part. Well, thank you guys for watching my video. It wasn't the, you know, most informative video on the situation. Um, but it's just what my thoughts are on if I came out of my coma and couldn't buy these snakes, if I couldn't, you know, no longer pursue my passion for keeping these snakes, I wouldn't be able to have this channel that I have. It's for also for my passion for fish. Um, same thing goes for them, you know, so thank you guys.